Hey guys, Ralph here. And welcome to True Power Weight Loss Center here in beautiful Norwalk, Connecticut. Man, not even five o'clock yet. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's beautiful. I do my best work at this hour. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. You saw the thumbnail. Mind is the creator of everything. And I just got through with an absolutely wonderful meditation. And I am so locked in right now. I'm going to be out uh, starting my workouts soon after I get this up. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great day. But guys, if you get that one thing, mind is the creator of everything. Now, as you all know, if you've been following this uh, channel, you know that I work with a lot of athletes and musicians, too. But I'm telling you, you think about the greatest athletes of our generation, okay? Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods. Those are the ones that come to mind right off the top. I mean, I can just list dozens of them. But let's just stick with those because they are so visible and they are so successful. Every single one of them. Anybody that adored Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan will tell you that the thing that set him apart, I mean, there's are people that there are people that were bigger than him. There are people that were faster than him. There are people that could jump higher than him. David Thompson that came before him absolutely could jump higher than him. Zach Levine, who came after. And these guys aren't even great players in the traditional sense. He could, Zach Lafine could jump higher than him. Why weren't they better than him? Every, to a man, everybody will tell you that Michael Jordan was so strong mentally that that's what put him over the top. Jack Nicholas, another one, so strong mentally. Tiger Woods, just on another planet, mentally. And I'm not talking necessarily about IQ. Not necessarily, they're all very bright. Those three people that I met are very, very bright. But they're not Albert Einstein, right? But what they had was they could control themselves with their mind. If you watch that documentary, uh, Last Dance, on Michael Jordan, you'd say the things that he went to th through, the things that he created in his mind to create an anger in him that would propel him to greatness was extraordinary. He just made things up that people slighted him. And he went via anger. And I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not talking about making yourself angry by any means. That's very, very detrimental. And the fact of the matter is, if you see him now, I mean, he's a drunk. I mean, we're getting off the, we're getting off the uh, subject. But the point is, he could control it mentally. He could control himself mentally. You listen to Jack Nicholas talk about golf. He sounds like an Oxford scholar. Control it mentally. And he transferred that mental control into enormous philanthropic um, deeds throughout his life. Tiger Woods. Guys, everybody talks about his relationship with his father, and that was important. There's no question. His father was a, uh, was it a Navy SEAL? It's definitely a special ops guy. Green Beret. Green Beret. I'm sorry. One of the toughest toughest mind is people on the universe. These special ops forces of the military. And everybody thought that his father was the one that trained his mind. Such. And he had a lot to do with it. Absolutely no question he had a lot to do with it. But check this out. His mother was a Buddhist. And to this day goes to the mosque every single day and meditates and prays. And for the longest time, Tiger Woods 
would go with her. Guys, you don't think Tiger Woods meditates? <laughs> think again. Think again. And I completely, 100% agree, believe, that when he went round, down the wrong path of debauchery and all that, all that sort of thing with, with his wife and drugs and everything, he got away from the meditation. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. The point here is, guys, if mind is the creator of everything, there is no better way to control that mind than meditation. Yes, you can propel yourself with anger. Like Michael Jordan, you want to do that? Go ahead. I don't want to live like that. <laughs> I don't think there's any amount of anger I could get my conjure up in my mind that would make me perform like Michael Jordan, but that's, that's another thing. But guys, the mind controls the body. The mind controls everything in your life, in your, your space. It doesn't control what's going on, but it controls around, it doesn't know what's going on around you, but it contr controls how you react to it. I've told you before, this inner calm, this inner bliss that I have as we speak is such a precious yet powerful thing. And guys, I'm going to go out and work out. I'm going to go down the ball field and work out. And somebody's going to, you know, let their dog off the leash. And he's going to come snip at my heels and all this sort of stuff. And I'm going to get mad. And real life gets in the way. But I'm telling you right now, right here. If I could go through the rest of my life like this right now. Right now. That I just got through the meditation. Ah, what a glorious world this would be. And I tell you what, guys, everybody talks about, you know, you know, Green New Deal and critical race theory and racism and all this sort of stuff. If everybody and we and I talk about, you know, save the planet by eating vegan and all this sort of stuff, guys, if the entire world started like this every single day and finished like this every single day with an hour plus of meditation we would have no problems we would have no problems the mind controls everything no greater way to get control of the mind than meditation it's all here in my book $10. Email me at the email at the end of this video and I can put it in. I can uh, attach it to an email tonight. It's an ebook. I happen to have it printed out and bound just so I can do this very thing. But it is an ebook. Anyway, that's that. Eat and drink your fruits, vegetables, and starches and meditate. Love you all. Have a great day.